don't stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Good morning, my darlings. We have woken up to some new neighbours this morning. Normally we just have three rams, big rams in this field. But today, we've got lots and lots of fluffy new neighbours. Good morning. Good morning, little sheepies. This is the first chilly, not quite frosty, but really chilly morning we've had in quite some time. Finally, the temperatures are dropping, so I might start to do some winter garden planning today. Bulb planting, um, sweet pea planting. Oh, but first, coffee. A proper good morning to you, my darlings. I'm coming to you looking a little bit like Johnny Bravo this morning. I'm gonna pop a picture of him on the screen here. I seem to remember him having this, like, it looked like a giant chip sticking out of his head, this big yellow chip. And that is, that's kind of how I feel this morning with my Dyson Airwrap bristle brush wedged quite precariously in my hair. This is another of Elle, Bambi Does Beauty, another of her Instagram um, hacks or TikTok hacks. If I leave the bristle brush in the top of my hair like so, it just means that I get a little bit more movement around my face, which is great. So this morning, um, it's a really lovely day. All we've got planned this morning, I think we're gonna meet some friends for a light lunch in a pub nearby. We're going to go um, for a nice walk, take the boys out. So yeah, just a really nice relaxed day. So I'm just going to pop on some very simple everyday makeup, which I haven't done in a while with you. Fussing on my face this morning, by the way, flawless start hydrating serum primer from Elizabeth Arden. As we are well and truly into Cyber Week, many of the things that I'll be talking about will have um, discount codes on at the moment. Do you know what? I was actually on Amazon this morning putting together, because their Black Friday sales are always just absolutely fantastic. I was putting together my edits as usual for the blog and for stories and for the newsletter. And I never really realised how good Amazon is for beauty discounts. So many of my favourite products I can get for 40% off, 30% off, 25% off, if not more, on Amazon. I was really quite impressed. Everything from, well, here's a little trick for you. Instead of using rapid brow on your lashes, one of my friends said that she actually uses rapid lash, which is the one that's designed for your actual eyelashes as opposed to your eyebrows. Um, and she said that that actually works better for her. So I noticed that that was, I think, 30% off on Amazon this morning. So I've just ordered that. This stuff will probably arrive um, <laughs> tomorrow so we can unbox it together. I ordered a load of the Neil's Yard Remedy um, foaming bath product because that is mine and Charlie's favourite and I think that was 30% off. I ordered some more of my <laughs> Living Proof Dry Shampoo, that was 30% off. I ordered some new Pilates socks, they actually weren't in the sale but I just needed some. Calvin Klein sock gift set because they were 20% off. Something else that I noticed <laughs> was discounted on Amazon is the Arborian Ginseng BB Cream which is an absolute favourite of mine. You only need, for a BB for a BB cream, which is obviously, you know, skincare within makeup, you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this, and a little goes such a long way. I've probably actually got too much there. But yeah, I was spending um, my morning this morning with my coffee, putting together loads and loads more discounts for the mega blog post, which hopefully you guys have all got bookmark book bookmarked, um, because as I've said a million times, Cyber Week, it's its a lot, it's overwhelming, so as always, I do try to find just, you know, the brands that, the brands that I talk about a lot, the brands that I feel that um, you guys will appreciate the discount codes for, and I pull it down to an edit of the best products within each brand as well. Can you see how much coverage this is giving? It's almost too much. 
you definitely have to go in with some kind of bronzer afterwards just to bring that shape back to your face because it's insane coverage for a BB cream. Yes, I will leave my Black Friday blog post on the screen here so that you can see how beautifully laid out it is and this is all of the discount codes you need in one place. I've got, I know as I said, the Amazon Black Friday sale, it's insane, it's quite overwhelming if so I've done a really good edit of like home and fashion gifts, um, beauty, so you can find all of those in the categories and the edits that I have chosen. And also on the blog post is discount codes that are not like readily available. As I said, I've worked so closely with so many of my favorite brands this year and they've given us some exclusive discount code. I feel like the light in here is really washing me out at the moment, but I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. At the time of filming, I don't know if Charlotte Tilbury are doing anything, but um, if they are, this will be linked down below with any discount codes that you need, and there'll probably be a Charlotte Tilbury edit on the blog as well. I would highly recommend picking this up. I've used it nearly every single day since I got it, and I have got back into the habit of using the Elizabeth Arden 8, Great 8 Out, eight hour cream um, on a spoolie to do my brows. You just need the tiniest little bit. And I literally find that it's better than any kind of soap brow products, any of the expensive brow gels that I've tried. This is just better. It seems to actually add volume to my brow hair. And then any that's left, I just rub it into my cuticles. Let me know down below what you use your Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream for. I think, I think it's amazing for cuticles and especially if you get like, I've got a little cut on my thumb there where I pulled the skin down too much and I just find it so, it's so healing. Brows, lips, cuticles, dry skin patches, I am obsessed. The lighting in the camera is really doing me dirty because I, <laughs> my complexion looks really good in the mirror but not so good in the camera. I've just applied the Pillow Talk Cheek to Cheek Blusher from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just a really nice natural um, kind of blush colour with a little pop of highlight in the middle. And every day I'm just getting in the habit of using the Urban Decay All Nighter. I do find that it makes a big difference in my makeup lasting. Um, I'm finding I don't even need to top up my chin makeup which is quite amazing for me because normally that's the first to go. And I still have quite a lot in here but I did pick up another one on Amazon this morning as well because I think they were 30 or 40% off. I'm going to leave all of my Amazon beauty favourites linked down below because I have been blown away by the sales. My robe... I got a lot of questions on this last time I featured it as well, I featured it on my Instagram recently. It's also from Amazon. So, yes. Okay, let's see if this roller has done its magic. Oh, well, we certainly have volume, that is for sure. It's almost too voluminous, but by the time I have got changed, it will have died down a little bit, so I'm gonna pop on. Well, actually, let's try on a few of my Amazon fashion favorites, seeing as their Black Friday sale is so epic. And I have picked up a few really good bits lately. Okay, my darling, starting with quite a random outfit, actually, because I ordered this um, just thinking it was gonna be one of those really, really practical dresses. It's quite a mature design for me, but it is so comfortable and very elegant looking. I feel like it's quite, it's quite a Kate Middleton-esque dress. It reminds me of her, um, was it Reese, the dress that she wore for her engagement interview. It's giving me those kinds of vibes, but it's actually just a really, really simple. I chose navy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. You can see all of my hair drying rubbish in the background there. I chose navy. I thought that would just be ultra timeless um, and classic and something that's going to be really flattering on lots of different people. I do tend to go for lighter colours, but I thought this was just very, very elegant, really simple and easy to wear. I know that wrap dresses are universally some of the most flattering designs you can possibly get your hands on. And I thought this Amazon one was just a really good price point, um, arrived super quickly. I feel like this could just be the most fantastic work dress if I go closer to the mirror. Okay, I think that might be a little bit better. As you can see now, we have got these lovely pockets. Very handy, and then the wrap detail. I feel like if my friends who are teachers, <laughs> I feel like this is a really good dress for the kind of jobs where you just need something where you look smart, where you look quite professional. 
um, and yet it's just really, really easy to wear, easy to throw on. And I have styled it with my little brown pointed toe mules because they just go with everything. Okay, so the next thing that I have been very pleasantly surprised with are some of these really beautiful jumpers, which are also from Amazon. So this one is a really gorgeous wool and cashmere mix. It is very, very soft and warm, as you can imagine. And hopefully if the lighting helps me out here, you can see it's almost like um, an asymmetric line ribbed detail across the bodice which I think is super flattering there's nothing too like on trend about this it's just a classic knit I have paired it with my suede skirt which I think is a really nice way of styling this kind of knit but then equally I could wear this with a pair of jeans um I have actually just ordered <laughs> some jeans so I'll do a little try on with you later on in the week when they arrive because I'm desperate to just try and figure out a way of actually making jeans work for my style. I'm always on the lookout for jumpers that just are warm and cozy but not in the slightest bit itchy because at this time of year my skin is a little bit more sensitive than usual um, and I just can't bear any itch. So this one I'm pleased to report is completely itch free and then from the same order possibly even the same seller i can't quite remember i chose this sandy colored knit again i thought this was a really great versatile everyday trend free timeless um knit and again you've got that wool and cashmere mix so super duper warm but you don't have can you see it's really not that bulky so it's going to be a fantastic layering piece if you do want to maintain a slightly less bulky silhouette this um winter season but you appreciate that you need wools and cashmeres in order to stay nice and toasty warm. I honestly never thought I would find so many building blocks for my wardrobe from Amazon, but this is just another very classic and um, yeah, timeless jumper. Okay, so this next piece I think actually came up in my recommended section and it is a really gorgeous long line cardigan. Material wise, really soft and lightweight and again, not too bulky. I already know that this is going to be my traveling cardigan when we go to Nashville. I think it's an eight hour flight. So I'll swap out the skirt for a pair of leggings and then this is absolutely perfect for flying. When you're not too sure what your temperature is going to be, you can just pop on, <clears throat> excuse me, a sleeveless knitted top like this one from Holland Cooper um, and then this is just a lovely layering piece for keeping you nice and toasty warm great for those working from home days if your office is nice and warm but you want to stay cozy on your commute then this is great for times like that anything that resembles a dressing gown robe <laughs> that I can wear out in public I'm always a huge fan of little pockets neutral color and a very elegant length as well I think this would look really gorgeous over maybe a shirt style dress a white top with white trousers white denim maybe and then this to just add that little bit of neutral color blocking as well as the coziness I'm going to try it on with leggings for my travel outfit. Okay, and the final knit that I'm going to share with you, this is actually the most affordable as well, and the one that so far I've got the most use out of. I have to give a shout out to fellow uh, Instagram influencer Sinead Crow for this, because she was featuring this on her stories, and I instantly added it to my basket. Spoiler alert, this is actually a men's knit. It's actually a men's jumper, but if you love just oversized classic cable knits for wearing at home, or if you live a similar lifestyle to me and you love to be cozy, you love dog walks, you love Sunday roasts by an open fire and you just need classic cozy knits, then honestly I think this one is just absolutely perfect. This is what I'm going to wear <laughs> for the rest of the day. Um, I haven't got a thumb on underneath but I think I will actually pop one on under it. But yeah, just a really classic cable knit design. I love that it's a little bit oversized. I still got a size small but being men's it is just that little bit more oversized. I could add, in fact I think I definitely will just add my gilet. Um, for when we go out for our dog walk a little bit later. This is literally my weekend uniform, a pair of leggings, cozy cable knit, and a gilet of my dog walks, my Sunday roast cooking, all from Amazon. So Amazon fashion have done me very well lately, so I'll leave all of these bits linked down below. Now I'm gonna head downstairs and get some breakfast, um, and then we're gonna make the most of this lovely day and take the boys out for a nice walk.
Good morning, my darlings. It's now Sunday morning and it's a glorious day, which is great news because we have got some really, really fun plans today. Um, hopefully heading out to visit a friend's new property nearby. And I'm hoping that I might be able to take my secateurs and gather some foliage for a festive wreath to make with said friends because I was watching Gardener's World, the festive or winter sun edition, and they were making really gorgeous um, foliage rich wreaths, which has very, very much inspired me. So I'm hoping that that's what I'll be able to do today. I'm just letting the undersides of my hair dry a little bit more naturally, but I have been having a bit of a bit of a pamper morning. You know when you have those showers and you just blitz everything, super exfoliate. I would like to pop on some fake tan either tonight or tomorrow. So I have been, um, prepping myself for that. My tan and hair removal routine is very much down to a T. I have done an entire video on my full fake tanning routine in the past. I'll leave that link down below um, because if like me you have got a few festive fun things coming up in your diary you might want to be adding um, some tanning into your routine and I mentioned some of my hair removal routine in that video when it comes to tanning but I want to update you on my IPL because I haven't updated on you on that in a very long time. Um, I kind of got to the stage where I just was doing it maybe once every two or three weeks more regularly on my underarms because I just want that area to always be 100% completely hair free. Um, so I'm going to give you a little update and fairly new to my collection is the updated version of the Kenzie at home IPL device. You'll probably remember me speaking about the Kenzie device. Let me refresh your memory. This is the original, which I used weekly pretty much throughout the entire of lockdown. Lockdown really did change so many things, didn't it, when it comes to at home um, beauty treatments. I never tried the at home brow lamination. I tried brow tinting. Um, obviously my amazing manicurist, nail set, things like that, I will continue to do at home. And one major, major, major thing that is saving so much money and time and quite frankly embarrassment is doing my own at home hair removal. So I want to show you the new-ish, this has been out for a couple of months now, um, Kenzie device. So I have just finished my IPLing for this morning, so I will insert some overlay clips here. Always have to be quite careful um, <laughs> what I show you when I'm filming the overlay clips, so I don't like to talk and um, zap at the same time because silky robes do have a tendency of slipping down and revealing just that little bit too much. But this is my new, uh, it's called their Ice Beauty device, Ice device. This is the original. First of all, I think this looks very, very sleek very ergonomic gold buttons and a screen here which won't turn on at the moment because you do have to plug this into the wall to use it just like with the old device I would order on Amazon a converter because it does come with a US plug so if you are in the UK then you'll just need a converter they're literally like two pounds from Amazon so I'll leave that link down below as well but yeah as a little refresher because I haven't spoken about my IPL journey in a couple of months now to be honest, I'm pretty much hair free, which which is amazing. But because I have this at home, it's just so easy to top up. And especially at this time of year, because um, basically the higher the contrast in your skin color and your hair color, the better. So I do like to do this when I'm not tanned. So it is very much um, something that I love to do in the cooler months, in the winter months, getting myself pretty much constantly hair free because, okay, let, let's rewind. IPL is a way of getting permanent hair removal. This device from Kenzie enables you, you to get permanent hair removal at home, which is just amazing. If you have ever looked into getting laser hair removal in a salon, you will know that it, <clears throat> excuse me, is very, very expensive. It is super duper expensive. And I have had laser done professionally in a salon before, and it is a tiny bit awkward. I'm not gonna lie, it's just a little bit awkward. Yeah, it's just one of those things I would much rather do in the comfort of my own home. The way that this works is it sends the, the intense pulse light deep into the hair follicle, and it basically tells that follicle to just, you know, <laughs> stop what you're doing and stop producing hair. So after a few zaps, people start to see results in like three or four weeks, but then I would say after a couple of months, you will really start to be like, oh, 
I'm not having to shave anymore. This is amazing, which is very much the stage that I am at now. So yeah, after a couple of months, you'll just start to notice that your hair follicles have pretty much given up at <laughs> trying to produce hair anymore because the zapping has um, persuaded them otherwise. As well as hair removal, on this device, you can actually help, you can actually um, change the setting for age spots and um, acne. When I went in for the lumps on my nose, the lady at 111 Skin on Harley Street, she actually said that she could do IPL um, on my face to help with some of the sun damage. So I have got some um, dark patches on my skin. So potentially I need to look at how I could <laughs> save myself another fortune and do that at home with this device. But personally, I use this for hair removal and maintaining my hair freeness. So I personally use this basically everywhere from here downwards. It is so, so easy, especially on the under underarms. I would say it takes me a grand total of one minute. <laughs> one minute to do my underarms. I was watching a YouTube video while I was doing my legs and my bikini area and my underarms just now. The video was eight minutes long and I beat the video. So it takes me less than 10 minutes to do everywhere that I need to do. It works really, really well for me because I do have a fairly light skin color um, and especially on my underarms, the hair is considerably darker than my skin color, but this does come with a skin tone chart so you can see how well this will work for you. You can also change the settings on this so that you can get a slightly stronger or slightly lighter intensity with the pulse light. I know I've mentioned all of these benefits before, um, but just to, just to recap because Kenzie have very kindly given me a discount code which is FM50 for $50 off. I'll leave that in the description box down below. Great gift idea by the way if you are thinking of something for a friend, a sister, a daughter. Um, I think it's a really fantastic gift idea. You can of course share this as well which I think you know again so so much more affordable than many other hair removal techniques. Design wise as well, this has got the cooling metal plate on the end here, so this is where the light comes out of, and then this cooling plate is pressed against the skin. So for me personally, absolutely zero discomfort. I can barely feel anything, just enough to know that it's doing something. And what I personally love is the fact that when you're doing at home IPL, you are always hair free. So in the past I've tried it all, I've tried epilating, I've tried waxing, but the great thing about IPL is that you have to be freshly shaved before you do it. So part of my Sunday morning routine, and I only have to do it once a week, it's only really on my legs that I still have a few hairs, <laughs> not much, but a few hairs. Um, I just ensure that I'm completely cleanly shaved and then I zap myself. It doesn't take long at all. No awkward regrowth phase where you have to let the hair get a couple of millimeters long before you wax it or pluck it or epilate it or whatever. And let me tell you, so much less painful. <laughs> As I said, I practically feel nothing compared to epilating, which is just excruciating, I'm not gonna lie. Bikini waxing, not fun. I'm trying to think what questions you guys had last time. Obviously, super duper safe. Kenzie is a world leader when it comes to the IPL devices. FDA approved, um, they really are top of the game. They know what they're doing. Their devices, their devices are renowned worldwide for being affordable, <laughs> effective, and super safe to use. You get a, a super long cord in the box. As you saw, I had it plugged in over there and I was zapping away in the middle of the room. You get a super, you get a really easy start guide in your box. So yes, it is something that works very, very well for me. Thought I would update you. It's a good time of year to update you, especially with Christmas gifting. So J, FM50 for $50 off. Definitely a fantastic gift idea. If you do have any more questions about it, I feel like obviously I'm not an expert, but I have been using these devices for a couple of years now. So I'll be able to answer your questions if you've got any in the comment section down below. So let's have a chat. Um, and I'm sure lots of you have probably already tried. Maybe lots of you have got this at home. Let me know how you're getting along. I feel like I probably have <laughs> an army of hair free followers and watchers um, having spoken about this device before, but yes, so I'm gonna get myself dressed and ready. There's also no downtime, which is amazing. No downtime, no risk of cutting from shaving. So many benefits. It's one of those things where I'm like, everyone should just use this because it's amazing. So yes, I'm gonna get dressed. Shall I add some curls? Yes, I'll add some curls and we'll catch up shortly. <laughs> You're such a reliably lovely boy. 
smells good. So darling, what do we have for breakfast this morning? We have eggy crumbs this morning. Oh. This is definitely a Try less healthy, speciality. less healthy um, breakfast. All right. I'm going to try and elevate it today. All with right. A bit of parmesan. Parmigiano. As well. Right. So what we're going to do? We've got the eggy crumpets. Why is it so, unhealthy? Well, there's butter in the pan with the crumpets. That's crumpets allowed. are obviously not the healthiest thing in the world. It depends on your definition of health. It's quite a high calorie breakfast. Hmm. But um, but it's homemade. It's all good produce. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, it's, it's a Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. So, but then also we've got the option of maple syrup. So, oh, I'm put this is quite the feast. Yeah. Well, we're not eating lunch as such, are we? Can I have the one that's a bit more cooked? Because I don't like that wobbly bit on top. Yeah, just that one for me. Thank you. Okay. Nice. And then, next up. <clears throat> These are our lovely plates from Dalesford, which I think you can get on a cardo at the moment. Oh! Parmesan. Yamarillo. Why is there okay. a Dyson um, filter on the kitchen worked up? Because we've rinsed it. Oh. And Parts the garnish? The garden. Are they? These are from the garden, yeah. Where did you much find the them? Last, well, there's not a lot left. I don't know, we'll have to look up chives. I think if we just planted a plant now, mm. it would probably get blitzed by frost. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe chives... If only we had a greenhouse. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, <laughs> we just have them in the greenhouse. Yeah, That's true. we should do. So the last piece of the jigsaw here mm -hmm. is maple syrup. Syrup. Robin will be proud. Ooh. You've got somebody watching you. Oh, yes. Look at that. <gasps> There we go. Nice. Boom, boom. Lovely yeah. job. Breakfast time for sausage dogs. Breakfast time oh, for sausage dogs. Oh, fried organic stales for eggs. <laughs> How delicious. We are the luckiest doggies in the whole world. You are so lucky. Mummy, Daddy, I am so grateful. <laughs> Why do you look sad, Lynn? You've got Dalesford fried eggs for your breakfast. Okay, so here is a selection of fairly random bits which I've just unboxed from today's Amazon delivery. I got a bit carried away, it would seem, with socks, um, but I will show you my sock purchases. As soon as Amazon went into Black Friday sale, I did do a little bit of a haul, mini haul, a very random selection haul. So these are my Pilates socks, and they've got little goofy bits underneath. I wear these. I wear socks like this at least once a week whenever I go and do my reformer pilates. Keeps my feet nice and warm. Um, and I really liked the colours of these. I also noticed that these Calvin Klein socks were in the Black Friday sale. I will leave on the screen here. I did a few different edits um, for the best of the Amazon Black Friday sales. We have got a fashion edit, we've got a beauty edit, we have got um, a gift edit, and then we've got like the best of the best. So things like coffee machines, electronics, things like that. So all of these edits, if you want to shop my edits of the Amazon Black Friday sale, I'll leave them linked down below. So yeah, we've got a few new Calvin Klein socks. I thought these were really good value and hopefully they'll be nice, good quality, seeing as I wear socks like this inside my boots every single day and then just a load of trainer socks I started to notice that quite a few of mine just it was time for them to be replaced so yeah ordered a few sets of socks and these have got the nice chunky lips and they don't slip down inside your trainers and then I think I mentioned yesterday morning that I placed a big beauty order the Nails Yard Foaming Bath was in the sale so I ordered three of those this I think was half price or something similar to that um for my eyebrows it says eyelash but i will actually use it for my eyebrows and then i ordered from urban decay as well as a new all-nighter spray which actually hasn't arrived yet i'm not really an eyeliner person um i think i was watching fleur maybe and she was talking about how lovely and soft this particular eyeliner is and i thought just for smudging into the lash line i've gone for the brownie kind of brownie bronze shade it's actually called mushroom um, it's meant to be a really soft and balmy eyeliner so i thought that'd be quite nice for giving a little bit of extra definition to my lash line 
And then a couple of really random things. I got this box of suction hooks, which I thought would be quite good for applying Christmas wreaths to our walls. And then random, obviously not for me. This is a gift for a friend um, because I had been very highly recommended this book by Dr. Gowrie Mother. And it's all about feeling confident and in control during labour. So yeah, if you know anyone that is pregnant at the moment, this book has come very highly recommended. So that's just a nice little gift next time I see my friend. <laughs> Literally the world's most random Amazon haul. But you know what? When you see great Black Friday discounts, you just got to make the most of them. Sometimes I just walk past the pink room and it's looking so gorgeous in the afternoon light that I just have to show it to you <laughs> even though there's nothing well I was about to say nothing new but um, I think these cushions are potentially new since I last showed you guys in here I've got no idea where they were from because Charlie actually got these which I'm very impressed with um, oh here we go what's this Pro projecty tinny <laughs> if anyone can um, decipher where they're from from that Oh, it just really is so gorgeous. Love this room. Love this room. And I noticed someone on Instagram asked where these cushions were from in a recent, maybe on Instagram. These were from Soho Home, but quite a long time ago. So not sure if you'll be able to get these anymore. Um, I think Charlie is pottering about in the garden. It's quite chilly. I have got a thermal on. I can't see you. I've got a thermal on underneath my Amazon, <laughs> Amazon jumper. Whew. But I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day indoors because it is so chilly. These are some of the lovely blooms from the flower bomb at dinner. They said, actually it was really lovely, I did ask what they do with all the blooms afterwards and they say obviously we're encouraged to take as many home as we can because there were so many. Um, but they did say that they do take a lot. Apparently there's a drop off point near in Battersea somewhere where florists can drop off excess flowers or, you know, flowers that have been used for an event and then someone distributes them around care homes and hospitals which I think is such a lovely idea I think maybe next summer in the garden we had to, we had so many cut flowers um this year I think that's a really nice idea so I might I might do that next summer or I will do that next summer take bouquets to hospitals and care homes nearby a little job that I have been meaning to do for quite some time is actually to tidy out my jewelry box this is the jewelry box by my bedside table with my everyday pieces in um, and I thought as I go through I could let you know if any of my favorite brands are on Black Friday sale because a lot of them will be so let me prop you up I'll prop you up on a candle <laughs> How's that? That'll do the trick. Okay, so first of all, I've got on my lovely wrist cluster. Oh, I'm ringless. Um, from Monica Vinader, treated myself to a few new designs. They have got 30% off everything and then they're doing flash sales. You will see all of these in the blog post if you're keeping an eye on that. Um, but I'll also leave the codes and the links that you need for 30% off Monica Vinader down below. I've got the plain gold bangle, the diamond bangle, I've got the um, chain bracelet and then this is, I think this is called the Fiji bracelet with the diamonds in it or diamonds, I'm not sure if they're real diamonds or not, probably not. Let's take my watch out. Um, okay, so we have got, I've been wearing these a lot lately, my little Missima polka dot earrings. What are we doing? Missima is, ooh, early access. I think. Um, it's going to be 25% off everything, but if it's not live yet, oops, I do have an early access discount code linked down below. Another Monica Vinada favourite. This is a really gorgeous uh, kind of chain. I think this is from Doina's collaboration. absolutely love this one. I think it is so elegant. Um, that is a Missima ring. I do love to stack up the kind of signet style rings. This one is a beauty, a real beauty and great for special events from Soru Jewelry. Don't think that they do sales really. Um, if they do, <laughs> it'll be linked down below. I'm going to pop that aside because I want to take that to Nashville with me. This is another Missima, really nice layering ring. Um, oh gosh, I can't believe this is in here. 
This is my gorgeous tubey ring. Again, I shouldn't think they'll be doing sales, but if they do, you know where to look. Edge of Amber. I think I saw on Victoria's stories this morning that they are doing it 25% off, so that's a good one. What's this? This is a Missima necklace. This is a really nice layering piece. Is that going to focus? They've just got so many really classic things, but also a little bit more statement. So this was from one of their, was it Harris Reed? Collaboration, possibly. But I love the chain of this one, especially in summer. Um, and then this is the kind of plain chain. Well, it's not plain, it's obviously got the pearls in there. But it is a really wonderful layering piece. I have got on, sorry, this lighting is not good. I've got on my simple pearl necklace at the moment, but it's really nice layered up. In fact, I'm going to pop this one on now. It's such a good time of year to um, pick up jewellery pieces because the sales are all so good. So I thought it'd be a good time <laughs> to show you my jewellery collection. So what have we got here? A flat curb chain. This is also Missima. I'll do my best to make it as clear as possible in the description box down below link-wise and order-wise of these pieces. But a flat curb chain is also amazing when it comes to layering. Ooh, I had quite a few, um, good, I can find both of them. I had a few questions on these the other day. I think I wore them on Instagram stories, but also in vlogs. Can you see? Will they focus? Oh, shit. They are like quite a, come on camera. They're quite a plump hoop earring and they've got pave diamonds on them. They're really effective and beautiful when you're wearing them. These are Astrid and Mew. This is a lovely statement pair of earrings. I love to wear them around the festive season from Monica Vinader. Again, I'm gonna take them to Nashville because they'll be really nice for wearing on our Piano Guys evening. This is a regular bracelet that I wear as part of like an everyday cluster. It's like a rope detail. This one is again, Monica Vinader. Gosh, thing is, I get so excited I wear stuff and then I put it in this box and then the stuff that's in this box, I very rarely, you know, rummage through it when I'm putting my daily jewelry together. So it's a very good um, plan for me to have a clear out right now. This is a gorgeous pair of triple hoop earrings from Astrid and Mew. I've been wearing these a lot lately. I love that you've got the, the diamond bit in the middle there. Looks like three hoops. It's actually just one. Really beautiful. Um, another really simple chain. This has just flung off something. I think this is my Edge of Ember pendant. Um, and then this really lovely, oops, got a bit of a knot in it there. Really beautiful, delicate chain. Again, fantastic for layering. These things, these kinds of pieces would be great gift ideas. Um, and again, I think that'll be 25% off in their Black Friday sale. We have got, ooh, this is actually the same as this bracelet here, but you can of course add whatever charms you want onto these Monica Vinader bracelets. This one has got the pearl charm on it, and I think they look so beautiful stacked up. You can really go to town on Monica Vinader. Again, a great layering piece. Oh, this is so fun. I feel like I'm rediscovering my collection. These, I'm pretty sure, are as um, no, I think these, oh gosh, I think these are Missima. They look like Missima to me, but I'm only about 80% sure. But I love the Star on the Moon, especially again this time of year. They look really lovely with gorgeous like jumper dresses, um, knitwear, lovely way of elevating your knitwear. We've got, oh, I don't know where this is from actually. Hmm. Maybe Majuri. Yeah, I think this is Majuri. They are probably doing something for cyber. I haven't actually seen anything yet, but it has got these little kind of, um, what do you call it? Medallions, like little mini medallions. Again, fantastic for layering. I take a shot every time I say something is fantastic for layering. And another iconic Missima design. Fantastic for layering. <laughs> this is their padlock design. Love it. Okay, that was all in that section. We've got this section now. There's not quite so many bits in here, but they are a bit more tangled. My Dior Pearl bracelet. Don't know when I took that off, but I normally have it on all the time. So this is going to go back on. What else we got on here? I've got on, oh, the, the, 
Monica Venander rope chain that I just showed you. And then also on this wrist, gosh, I do love a bracelet at the moment, don't I? I've got this, um, it's like a hand clasping bracelet with the pearls, which is Missima. So many M's in jewellery brands. Missima, Majuri, Astrid and Mew, Monica Vinader, Edge of Ember. wonder why that is. <laughs> there we go. My lovely pearl Dior bracelet that I got with Freddie. Then these were actually my Christmas Day, oh gosh, tangled, 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 Christmas Day earrings last year. I have worn them since, I can't remember when. Um, I love wearing Soru jewellery at this time of year for more statement pieces. They just have really striking designs that look so good with evening wear. So they are <laughs> Soru jewellery. And then some more really statement. Um, these were part of designer collaborations. Again, I think Harris Reed for Miss Summer. That's actually the most beautiful bracelet. Really gorgeous. Are you ready to take another shot? Because this is another gorgeous layering piece from Missima. I love this antique style pendant. Oops, and it has got something attached to it. Oh my gosh, it's been so overdue for me to clear out this little box. But we're getting there, we are getting there. <laughs> another layering piece from Missima, which is very tangled with another Missima pendant and a pair of earrings which are so effective because when they're not tangled with a load of necklaces you basically have a pearl as your stud but then you also have a hanging pearl underneath. Do you see? I can't remember where these are from um, but I will try to remember and link them down below. Oh my gosh! <gasps> I thought I'd lost this. <laughs> Sheesh kebabs. That's the thing with jewellery, you have to be so careful because you can lose it so easily. This is an adjustable ring from a brand called Carrot London. They have got so many gorgeous designs. Wow, how much jewellery can I wear in one go? That is the question. And it's so delicate. Can you see it's the middle one? So delicate. And they really champion lab-grown diamonds which I love. Okay, I think this is also Carrot London. This is quite a good tester for how my hand might look with a wedding band. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh -huh. Okay, a few more favorites here. This is one of my more expensive pieces. It is from Omega. I've also got the matching necklace and earrings and bracelet for this. Um, I think this is Astrid and Mew, the crisscross ring. This was one of my first ever rings from Missima. Really effective crisscross detail. This was a really funny collection that Astrid and Miu did. Really effective, quite like nautical. But now one of my friends, I think it was Rory, said that this reminded him of a pig's snout. <laughs> now, whenever I see this pattern, I just think of a pig snout, but still really effective and looks great um, in summer, especially when you've got lovely bronzed skin. Ooh, these are Majuri. I think these are called the croissant earrings, and I think they are so beautiful, really, really effective. I love wearing these with a chunky white roll neck, chunky knit, really lovely elevated everyday earrings. We're nearly there, guys. We are nearly there. Okay, a slightly chunkier version of um, like an everyday silver diamond, lab grown diamond wedding band style ring. Gosh. <laughs> I think these, do I have both of them? Yes I do. I think these are Pandora. Pandora did their, they had a special name for it which I can't remember, um, but Pandora did a lab grown diamond collection and I chose these because they match my engagement ring which when I had my palms read, the chap actually said that I'm wearing it upside down. So what do you think? Am I wearing it upside down? Hmm. This is a really effective ring from Monica Vinada. I have got the matching bracelet and it just looks really beautiful. Ooh, I forgot it's quite small. Um, so it'd probably go on that finger there. But yeah, I think that's such a beautiful ring. Really, really comfortable. We have got, ooh, can you guys remember where these are from? I want to say Astrid and Mew, they're like a horseshoe with the diamond detail in the middle there. Yeah, pretty sure they're Astrid 
and Mew. You can really see a lot of common recurring brands here. It's very obvious who my favourites are and I feel so grateful to be working with so many of them over the cyber week. Gold on one side, white on the other. Really striking when you're wearing those. Again, summer, summertime favourites. Alex Munro, the king of floral and garden inspired jewellery, these beautiful flower studs which I adore. I wear these a lot in springtime. I'm really sorry to Molly who's going to be doing my description box. She's going to be like, stop! No more links! <laughs> no more links! These are, we're nearly there Molly, <laughs> don't worry, only a few more bits. Um, these lovely, they are like a skinny diamond hoop. Astrid and Mew, so very similar to the chubby diamond hoops, but these are a bit more slim. I would definitely pick up some of these in the sales because I just think they're so classic and such gorgeous gift ideas. Nearly there, nearly there, we are nearly there. Okay, so these little like rectangular horseshoes are for adding your own charms from Monica Vinader. So you could add like a gemstone, you could add a quartz or you could add a pearl. I have chosen to add pearls. I think my mum got me these for my birthday a couple of years ago. 2020 birthday. Lovely. Very timeless. Okay, and we have got... Oh, so sweet. Again, from Alex Monroe. Can you see that? It is a tiny little bumblebee. Little tiny bumblebee stud. So precious. These cannot live in the bottom of this jewellery box. They need to go somewhere more precious. And the very last thing in here, aside from a hair clip, <laughs> is this little ear cuff, which will be from Astrid and Mew, because they are the absolute queens when it comes to ear cuffs. This one has got a little slim row of diamonds, and I should probably wear this. Sorry, I've got my brace in, otherwise I would have had my face showing for all of, for that whole clip. There we go, little ear cuff. And that, my darlings, is my jewellery collection. You're probably thinking, Josie, I know you've got more than that. There is a little bit more upstairs, um, but these are the pieces that I wear every day, my absolute favourites, and of course, my beautiful watch, which I love. I'm not the kind of person that has loads and loads of watches. I literally just have one, <laughs> and it is very precious to me. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm very sorry if I'm repeating myself, but as I showed you the pink room a second ago, this is where we are currently at, decorating-wise, in the newly renamed garden room, no longer called the gold room. <laughs> we have switched out a lot of the gold in favour of green. I have a feeling the lamps have changed since you were last in here, but I think we are now there, decorating-wise. Um, these are, a I'll have to ask Charlie where these are from, but they're a really gorgeous texture, really beautiful green. Isn't it great that Charlie manages to find and source things like this? I literally have done barely anything styling-wise in this room. It's all down to Charlie. Yeah, gorgeous texture. I'd love to get even more um, items in this room with this beautiful texture. I think I have shown you before the artwork from Time, the lovely little hats on the lights, and then we've got the matching green kind of earthy coloured cushions in here, and then the little cluster over there with the antique chest of drawers. And I just love this room at this time of day because the afternoon sunshine that comes in here really is quite heavenly. After my morning pamper, I just wanted to stay cosy today. Ooh, that's a mark on the mirror. Um, so I've popped back on my Amazon um, oversized cable knit Amazon leggings. Oh my gosh, we are an Amazon hat trick. <laughs> and these are literally the fluffiest, coziest slippers ever that I have been wearing around the house. They are so soft and heavenly. And I've just ordered them in green. They might even arrive today, actually, as a Christmas gift. And I do look a little bit crazy with all my jewellery from that little try-on session, but I'm going to whack on my barber because Charlie and I are now heading out to visit a friend's new farm and I think we're just going to trot around. I think we're going to do a little walk and explore their new local village. <laughs> Always find your way to higher ground 
May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will And we are back home again That was the perfect way to get some fresh air this afternoon I have made myself a nice oat milk cappuccino With some chai syrup in there Dirty chai latte And some Dalesford mince pies as my afternoon snack and in about an hour or so we're gonna head to Soho farmhouse for a Sunday roast this is literally my life at the moment oop here comes my assistant and adding it to the Black Friday blog post should we see what sales are on today my sweet boy what sales have you found mummy I don't shop the sale I only shop new in because I'm just so ahead of the game and would you look at that for timing they have literally just arrived so here we have got oh my gosh they are so comfy that feels like a memory foam sole but um yeah we charlie and i just love to provide our guests with absolutely everything that they need in the house so robes slippers towels obviously um you know shampoo and conditioner and i thought that these would go really nicely in the newly named garden room you know they could be unisex but size wise these are probably better suited to our female guests they are so soft and i love this green color I noticed that they also have UGG slippers in the Amazon Black Friday sale as well. So if you want a more designer pair, although I have to say the soles of these are very substantial, um, I will leave the UGGs that are in the sale linked down below as well. Hello again, my darlings. Excuse the bad light. It's nearly dark outside now. So we are about to head to Soho Farmhouse for dinner. So I've popped on my cashmere jumper dress which I think I'm going to order in a few different colours because I noticed that they have got a few different shades. This is the Amazon cashmere jumper dress which is just just such a winner. I can't believe the price versus the quality of this. It really is just absolutely gorgeous. You've, the only real design detail is a very very subtle waistband which does make it perfect for adding a belt. Um, however I'm very cold today <laughs> let me show you i have got on i've still got on my thermals my amazon thermal leggings and my thermal top are still on underneath my jumper dress because i could not bear the thought of taking them off how tragic is that um something else that was in a recent amazon order is this which I thought was a scarf but I think is actually a blanket it's a recycled wool blanket from the tartan blanket company and yeah I, I intended it on being a scarf but I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's a blanket however you could most definitely wear it as a scarf couldn't you yeah totally you could definitely 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 what is happening to my hair? Guys, I think I have overdone the retinol. I don't know if you can tell, but my chin is starting to, sorry, that was so unattractive. My chin is starting to majorly peel. Um, hmm, how can I rescue this? Hopefully no one will notice. It is so dark at Soho Farmhouse. Hopefully no one will see, but yeah, I really like this as just like a throw it on kind of scarf. Or option number two, is to pop on a jumper over the top and then it will essentially make the dress be more like a cashmere skirt. Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. What do we think to wearing the knit over the top? No, I don't love that. I think maybe I'm just gonna wear the dress as intended. Okay, I'm just popping on my belt. 
so annoying. I lost the um, attachment bit, but there we go. Lovely way of cinching in the dress. Okay. That'll do. Need to put on some lipstick and let's get to the farm. Thank you. 